In this last video, we'll show Dora being used for machine learning as a facilitator of the model productizing process. For this example, we will use a previously prepared notebook with a machine learning model that has already been implemented. This model aims to identify the likelihood of a customer of a financial institution to acquire an additional credit card. As you saw in the previous video, we can create a table in our map store containing the data aggregation we want from a single SQL query. So here we are going to create a table called Trinament Carto Additional, containing data we need for our model training. This query is the same one we used in the example showing cache storing data with multiple origins. Once we've created the table, we can identify its data here. I'll execute a brief query, and here it is. And now we can start building our model. First of all, it is important to say that the sandboxes are already filled with several libraries for the development of artificial intelligence algorithms. However, users are free to install any others they feel are necessary. as we are doing here with XGBoost and Imbalance Learn and Seaborn. Since I have already installed these libraries in a previous test, the return message only states that all libraries are updated. From there, we will start the development of the model itself, starting with imports. Moving on, to loading of our training data frame. Note that the table used is the one we created earlier. We move on to the sampling definition and feature selection. And finally, we run the model training. Done. Now we have a trained model. We can see through this command our ROC curve and the model's confusion matrix. Once the model has been trained, we now need to determine how it shall be executed. It is then we'll use another of DOR's magical commands, percentage percentage ML. This one identifies that the paragraph in question will serve as a consumption interface for the model we've created. You can have several interfaces for the same model receiving varying types of inputs in either batch or on demand and having different ways to handle the output. To make our example simpler, our interface is receiving input on demand through a JSON file and the model's output is displayed on the screen. Next, we invoke a build method to generate container-based product in this container are all the required tools to run the model including manually installed libraries during the implementation process let's wait a moment for the build execution Done. Once you're happy with your product, you just need to run the deploy method and it will be registered in our Docker register. In this case, for practical reasons, we are using Amazon ECR, but this is something you can change in the setup. Once the deployment is completed, we can access ECR and identify our model for consumption. Let's see. Here it is. A 
and here is the endpoint available for integration with other applications. As an example of integration, we have a simple Python application that will consume the model we've just created using user input and display the generated score. You can see that in a few lines of code. It was possible to consume the model created by Dora without worrying about the libraries and such. I'll switch screens to show this code being executed. Here is an example of a very simple application where the user sets some information about his customer, such as their average purchase and installment average, among others. When we click on execute, our model on Docker will run. Let's wait a little bit. And there it is. The result is displayed indicating the likelihood of that customer acquiring a new credit card. This serves as an example of the possibilities where we make it easier to put our data science models into practice. And this is how we end our presentation of Dora's features. However, this solution is evolving on a daily basis. So while you were watching these videos, new features may have been delivered. If you want to know more, contact us at dora at See you next time.